Hello, housemates, and welcome back to Avernum. Here, last time, we dealt with some bandits. We messed them up pretty hard. And we killed Peregrine, the overconfident wizardling. Now we're going to try and clear out the rest of this bottom floor and then go up to the top. Let's see what's working. Found a storeroom. Nothing interesting in it. Nothing interesting on the floor. Oh, got some rats. Rats are not too much of a problem. on the rat. You notice, out of the corner of your eye, that a brick is protruding from the wall in the northwest corner of the room. Very suspicious. Almost makes you want to push it to see what happens. First, kill the rat. Alright, so we see that right there. Not much on the floor. This isn't very really helpful either. Ah. All right, so let's see what happens. Okay, we found a secret room. A secret storage room. A skull. A remnant of one far more unfortunate than you. Or perhaps more fortunate. This barrel of garbage looked, from a distance, like it might have something useful in it. Closer inspection, however, reveals it to be merely a barrel of garbage. So here's some of that nice little sarcastic humor I've been talking about. A shielding potion, however, is worth. A bar of iron, should probably take that. <clears throat> Bolt of cloth. Money. Pincers. You press the... Oh wait, uh, this lock is too complicated to pick, so we can't get through here, at least not at the moment. There's a few interesting things about this fort that we have yet to resolve. Of course, we can just go in the back way here. There is a heavy door here blocked by timbers and large piles of rubble. The brigands have been trying to dig their way through the mess, but they haven't had any luck. So, I guess that usually you're meant to come this way first and then discover the switch later. So there's nothing particularly puzzling here for us. All right, it looks like we have thoroughly dealt with the bottom floor, so now let's go up to this ladder and see what we find up top. We know that it won't be Lagrin because he was sent away by the unfortunate late apprentice Peregrine, Pere Arcanist Peregrine. Alright, so it's dark up here. Uh, I've got a lantern somewhere. Do I not? Yes. So that's the way down on the floor, some slime stains, a goblin, <laughs> goodbye goblin, be gone, you dead, alright, a goblin flinger, there's a bunch of goblins, let's deal with that. nice, um, let's Heal our heal. Let's toast some goblins. All right. Oh, more. Yeah. Let's see if there are any more in here. Yes. Oops. There's at least one more. And now they're all dead. Okay. Pistol. A stick. Right. A body. A fine robe and robe. Oh, uh, it was obviously being tied to something and tortured. This is a torture room up here, it looks like. You open the box and find a jumble of torn up scrolls. Some are papyrus, some are fine vellum brought from the surface. 
All of them have been torn up and misused, and disgustingly stained, by goblins. Remembering what you learned on the job board in Silvar, you dig deep into the mess. At the bottom, you find several scrolls that have somehow resisted the goblin vandalism. The scrolls are covered with strange runes and diagrams. You wipe them off, roll them up, and store them away. So that is a quest item. Money, beer. And that's all we're doing for now. Nothing interesting on the floor. There's a spear over here. Crude spear. Nah. Right, I don't see anything else up here. So, there are some just goblins up here. I don't know if they were working with the bandits or what. Alright. Let's make sure we didn't miss anything in this little corner. Nope. Alright, so we've dealt with these bandits. Um, we're gonna leave. There's one thing left here. There's the book, which we do not have enough spell lore to deal with. But we'll have to come back for that later. So, let us go... Uh, let's look at our quests. So, misplaced knowledge. We need to go to Fort Dovno for that. Yeah, so Dovno it is. Um, let's go out here. This looks interesting. What is this? Oh, this is Fort Dovno. <laughs> Alright. Hello. I've got a quest for you. Thing for you. What's this? It's like a, is this an, what's this? Ah, Alice, what's up? This inn is clearly much frequented by merchants and warriors, the ones who pilot caravans north and south. The proprietor waits impatiently behind the counter. Stop gawking, she snaps. I'm Alice, and this is my inn. We have drinks and supplies, sometimes we have room, that's all. Hear any gossip for travelers? Slider five coins. She takes your coins, inspects them, nods, and pockets them. Then she says, haven't heard a thing. Great. Um, fine, I don't need anything. Oh, she turns away. Nice. Soldier, Jake, Caius. What's up, Jake? You meet a farmer named Jake. He spends his leisure time here in the inn playing chess against all comers and making friendly wagers on the outcome. A few minutes of observation reveals that he is a fearsome opponent. Not wanting to lose any money, you quietly move on. All right, Caius, what you got? You see a small, worried man in long robes. They show the wear and lichen stains that come from heavy travel. A holy symbol <coughs> excuse me, hangs prominently from his neck. He invites you to sit with him. I am Caius. A speaker of holy chance. Come and join me. I don't mind some company as I take rest from my journey. Tell me about your holy symbol. He holds it up. You see that it is a tiny die forged of silver. I am one of the speakers of holy chance, and yet I am no missionary. Can you tell me what you worship? Nothing. And everything. Everything is vast, and only those who strive and risk all can prevail. He looks embarrassed. As I said, I am no missionary. You can learn more of our path in one of our temples. There is one in Formella. Um, I would like to learn more holy rituals. Then travel north to Formello. If you would expand your magical knowledge, there is much to be learned there. I have another question. Despite his determination to flee south, Caius is still here and still drinking. For now, his confidence in his faith has fled him. May I ask why you are traveling? I bring the word to the flock. I once did so in Formello, but now I am moving to safer ground. Why did you leave Formello? I was assistant priest there, but the raids got too much for me. I worked for Mother Claudette, a good, fine woman. Plus, she had the ear of the mayor. If you're ever up there, mention my name. She'll help you get settled. As for me, I'm off. What can you tell us about Formello? It's a city to the north. They've had troubles, though not as bad as down here. The worst thing that's happened so far is that some Nephilim spies stole the mayor's necklace. He laughs. <laughs> Sounds trivial, I know, but it's supposed to have powerful magic. Still, the attacks were starting to increase. I'm glad I left. Where are you going? 
I'm going to the Great Cave, where things are calmer. He looks worried for a moment. Well, so I hear. The Great Cave, what is that? You really don't know much about Avernum, do you? It is far to the south, and then west. It's the largest cavern in Avernum. It contains a number of cities and forts, the castle, and the capital of Avernum. You should try and see it if you ever get the chance. That's all for now, thanks. So we learned something about what the mayor of Formella will probably ask of us when we get there, so that we can get our castle token or whatever it's called. We're looking for Walner. That's barracks. That's not going to help. That's Jason's quote-unquote farming supplies. There is no word, just a design, the crossed bow javelin thing. Walner the Sage, no question too trivial. We'll see about that. You give the moldy scrolls, uh, scrolls to Walner. He inspects them. Mostly ruined, of course. Bah. I expected no more. Still, I might get some use out of them. He gives you a pair of magical scrolls in exchange. All right, let's actually talk to him. The man behind the counter is short and heavy set. He wears mage's robes, not crisp and clean, but ratty, as if he'd been traveling recently. The air in here has a thick medicinal scent. There is some alchemical equipment sitting on the counter. The man sees that you notice it. Difficult to find supplies down here, but I manage. I am Walner the Sage. Welcome to my shop. What can a sage do? Well, my specialty is alchemy. If you have foraged any lichen or moss or fungi with the proper properties, you can show them to me. If they are fresh enough, I can make something for you. For example, if you brought me healing herbs in adequate quantities, I could make you a healing or curing potion. Even better, with the right mix of herbs, I could make a special brew to speed you up in combat or restore your magical energy. Very useful, very much in demand. Uh, we're not gonna worry about potions at the moment. Wait, I want to say other things. Uh, you look like you do a lot of traveling. He nods. I try to be a sage, but I've been seeing a lot of action lately. He looks down at his robes apologetically. I also need to find my own supplies. What sort of supplies? Mold and fungi. I use them to make my potions. Any of the sort you find, you can bring me. I have been trying to find a source of mandrake and gray mold, but I've had no luck. They are terribly rare. Sounds exciting. What sort of action were you in? Captain Johnson enlisted me to help out against the foe. I was on a raid against the bandit fort up the hill to the west. It was a mess, but we fared much better than the group that attacked the Nephilim to the north. None of them returned. He looks at you hopefully. You know, if you want to help, you can speak with the captain. That's all for now. I imagine we've already completed the captain's errand, at least with vis-a-vis -vis the uh, uh, bandits. So let's see if we can get a reward for that. Guard, guard, archer, captain. What's up, Cap Johnson? Remembering what you saw on the job board in Silvar, you tell Johnson of Jay's plight. He nods. I could use another blade. I have a scout going to Silvar soon. I will send word to this young warrior. He tips you a handful of coins for your trouble. So that's the dude that we tried to get to hire on with us, and he was like, no. He wanted a steady fighting job, not a adventurer's undependable fighting type job. All right, so that's one thing. <clears throat> you see a large bearded man in gleaming steel armor. Steel and iron, man. He's got some money. An iron halberd is strapped over his back. Clearly, he must be the captain of this fort. He is a grim man with cold eyes and a huge variety of scars. Fortunately, he does not look unhappy to see you. Uh, my voices for these characters are going to change wildly, so uh, they're going to be inconsistent. So you are here, he says. I got word promising warriors arrived in Fort Avernum. I won't pretend we don't need the help. I am Captain Johnson. I'm in charge here until we get a new commander. Tell me more about the fort. I've been in charge of it since our commander died. They should have replaced me by now, but the castle is in no hurry. We are meant as a staging post for merchants heading north to Formello and south to the Tower of Magi in the Great Cave. We weren't intended to be protectors of the whole Eastern Gallery. We just ended up that way. What happened to the commander? Okay. Fell to an arrow while attacking a band of brigands. Not a savvy fellow. Was put in charge of this fort in more peaceful times and never adjusted to the harshness of life. Why haven't you been replaced? 
he raises a mailed fist and slams it to his desk. Because I get results. Because we kill without mercy. Because I live to see Nephilim blood flow freely. And they won't promote me for much the same reason. What can I get you? Healing, some crude supplies, Walner can make potions. If you want to get proper equipment or learn magic, though, you'll have to go north to Formello. I have another question. Captain Johnson says, You wish to talk more. Now is not the time for talk, but for action. You note the large number of dings and notches in the blade of his halberd, and wonder how many of those were left by the skulls of brigands. How can I assist you, Captain? I could use some help protecting this fort from bandits and Nephilim. It's my job not to rest until all vermin are dead. What can you tell me about the bandits? I'm not too worried about them. They live in a fort to the northwest. They destroyed several farms, but we're wearing them down. I'd like a chance to fight against some bandits. Can I help you? Definitely. The bandits have overrun a ruined fort to the west. They're led by a powerful mage. Not. If that mage were gone, we'd have a much easier time dealing with them. Kill the magician and you will be rewarded. That's all for now. We have a quest. We already completed the quest. I did it! We killed the brigand commander. And he was a tough one, too. We didn't even go anywhere. You report to Captain Johnson that you managed to defeat the magically talented commander of the brigand fortress. Not bad, he says. That is a job which has defeated the best efforts of our warriors for months. Johnson produces a helmet and a small pouch and gives them to you. The pouch is filled with semi-precious stones. Excellent bartering goods. Thank you for your help. How can I assist you, Captain? But you have all these soldiers, what can I do? Our soldiers are the best, but we can always use some adventurers too. The bandits are off balance now and we can really use help against the Nephilim. He practically spits out the last word. There's a weird gleam in his eye. Tell me more about the Nephilim problem. His face twists into a cold grin. It's a little disturbing. Vicious vermin, I'd love to strangle every one. They're building a new fort to the north, and I sent a small group to check it out. All of my scouts were lost. We need to burn out that lair while it's small. He grins. Of course, we're getting them back. We got one of them in the cells, dying slowly. Um, I'd like to help you, Nephil prisoners, I hope you kill them, I can't stand those feline savages. Nephil prisoners, treat them fairly, I hope. Obviously, that will get a derisive response from him. Um, but we don't want to hear about torturing. We are not bloodthirsty savages, so we're going to get derided by him. Nephil prisoners, you're treating them fairly, I hope. He frowns. You must be newcomers. Only people who just arrived would say something so foolish. When you've lost friends and loved ones to those savages, then you come back and tell me about fairness. Uh, okay, dude, chill out. I'd like to help you with your Nephil problem nonetheless. All right then. The new Nephil fort is to the north. It's being dug out by goblins right now. If you can kill their commander, come back here and talk to me. I will reward you well. That's all for now, crazy man. All right, so let's go find the job board around here, and then we will end this episode. Yeah, yeah, statues, some dude fishing. I'm sure there must be a job board. It's always a job board. Well, maybe not. This is a fort, not a town. Some garbage. A lizard says the lizard. There's a little collar around its neck. It must be someone's pet. I bet we can find that for somebody. Right, so it doesn't look like there's actually a job board here. So we're going to end this episode here. We killed some bandits. We got rewarded for killing said bandits. We learned about a prisoner who is kept below the city somewhere. I imagine we can go and talk to him. Maybe we'll do that next time. Until then, I hope you liked this video. If you did, hit the thumbs up button. If you want to see more from me, please subscribe to my channels. If you're not going to do any of that, well then, I hope you're chained below Fort Dovno with that savage Nephil beast. Goodbye.